Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Spitty's Fish Room. Now, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. So I just, first of all, just want to say thanks. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Smash that notification bell so you know when I'm posting new fish videos. And make sure to leave a comment so we can share fish stories, you feel me? Uh, today, I'm just going to give you guys a good um, tour of the fish room. I want to show you guys around. We're going to start out right here uh, with something that's not fish. I know you like spitty. Those aren't fish. Yep. We got these uh, leopard geckos right here um, chilling in their habitat. And ha have had these uh, geckos for probably about two years. Um, you're only supposed to keep two of them together. You keep more of them together, they'll start fighting. Um, these are a male and a female, and they're two different types, as you can see, like the different colorations on them. Now, these leopard geckos, they like it humid in here. Um, I keep a water dish in there for them, and I keep that humidity up, uh, keep a spray bottle, and just spray, you know, inside their terrarium to keep it nice and moist to, you know, give it that feel that they, you know, have in the wild. Um, and they eat on crickets and uh, super worms, and that's pretty much what I feed them. But now we up here at the Abuna tank, what I like to call the yellow laboratory. Um, we, got a, we got a nice colony of yellow labs in here. Uh, you see that trophy is right there in the front. See that Salufakai. I, I never pronounced that right, so um, I'll spell it right in the uh, description though. Uh, we've got these rusty cichlids, these little juveniles, so they're growing up. Another time I showed you the tank, it had a lot of uh, algae, a huge algae buildup on this side. So I ended up getting three bristlenose placos, and man, they cleaned the tank up real good. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to see any in here right now. Oh, there's one right there. Oh yeah, he was on his job. So yeah, so they got the tank all clean. Like I, I feel like out of all the placos, bristle noses, they they actually do the work. You know, most placos they just poop a lot. They don't really get the algae out of the tank. You know, I know we all um, call them algae eaters, especially like in the beginning. You know, when we were early in the, you know, and getting our tanks. But yeah, they they don't really do much but poop. But you get you a bristle nose placo. Oh yeah, that, one, that one's gonna do some work. And you know I got the food truck on deck. So let me show y'all what I got on the food truck. So I thawed out a bunch of frozen fish food, bunch of tilapia, shrimp, krill. So I'm gonna be feeding this to different tanks around the fish room. We got our algae wafers. We got floating sticks for the uh, monster cichlids, mainly for the South Americans. I don't know why they got a picture of a yellow lab on here and yellow labs mainly eating veggies. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I guess it just looks good on here. Uh, we got some cichlid flakes, blood red parrot. Love this stuff. This helps get a, some good color in your fish too, so. Um, got some veggie flakes, veggie pellets, freeze dried krill. These are massivore pellets. These are, oh, these are from that same company that make the blood pair red. These are Vibra. Uh, these are called like Vibra sticks or something like that. Help with color really uh, good. So, and then we've got some freeze dry blood worms. So, you know, the fish are eating good and they spoiled. Oh, and for the turtles, we got our, turtle blend so fish are eating good but we're gonna let the yellow labs eat some veggies so i'll get that get that going for them they go crazy with that And then I like to, so I give them pellets and then I also like to give them flakes too. Cause you know, some of them, 
are, you know, swimming at the bottom and in the middle and they'll, you know, they'll get at these pellets and then some of them are more at the top. So, you know, give them some good flakes. Let them eat, let them work out. So now we come down here and we see the uh, Bumblebee Oscars as well as that red Oscar, that really nice red Oscar that I got. So I moved them out of that 20 gallon uh, tank that I had and now I'm housing a Frontosa in there. Um, and so I moved the Bumblebee Oscars, the red Oscar and this green terror uh, into this 40 breeder. So, looking like they really good, man. They, they stay hungry. Throw some tilapia in there for him. Look at him going crazy. Look at him. <laughs> Made a mistake and threw the big pieces in there, but they're gonna tear him up. Look, the little Oscars, man, it's crazy. I mean, a lot of us know, you know, how big this fish gets. So, you know, it's crazy to see it this small, but with the appetite like that, <laughs> you understand why they get so big so fast. Oh. So yeah, that's enough for these guys. I'll probably come back around, see if they've eaten some of that and give them some more food. All right. so. Now we come over here uh, to the Geophagus tank and look at that electric blue car looking so beautiful right there. Um, we've got uh, the electric blue car, we've got the Geophagus Savinii, um, we've got the Albino Heclii in there, uh, we've got the Rope Till Severums, beautiful Severums. Uh, the color in them is just amazing. Uh, this is the only Severum in here that's different. Uh, it's four Severums in here, three of them are rope tail, and this, I believe, is a red shoulder Severum. You can tell the difference. All of them have a lot more red in them, but this one has more orange in its fins. So, see that? And this aquascape is, you know, still looking good to me. I'm loving it, loving the uh, tree stomps. You guys saw my other video when I actually uh, got the stomps in the mail from uh, Aqua Decor and set this tank up. So, and man, right before I started this video, I noticed that I wasn't getting any uh, air. My air stone wasn't working. So I had to uh, basically, so it was, I was using this air pump uh, to connect it. And for the time being, luckily, you know, I had this, excuse, excuse the low light. But uh, I had this and so I was able to, you know, get air uh, pumping back in the tank. We all good, temporary solution. And uh, I'm either gonna, I'm gonna try to troubleshoot this pump, see if I can fix it. If not, uh, possibly just buy another pump. So, but that's what's happening with that. So let's feed these guys though, cause I know they're hungry. They stay hungry. And I'm actually give them some of this, uh, some of this shrimp and, and, and tilapia and all of that too. Cause I want to see these guys grow and get some size on them. So get them some food. I'm also going to throw some veggies in there. Um, so, you know, it's funny. I got algae wafers. You guys saw those, but um, I don't use them that much just because I feel like a lot of times they just like dirty up the tank. So what I'll do is I'll uh, put veggie flakes in the tank as well. And then basically what I'll do is use those, um, you know, to serve it. I mean, because it's, you know, somewhat the same as the algae wafers. And so the Placos and some of the different bottom feeders, like they'll eat those too. And they really like those. So. That's what's happening there. I'm gonna give them some flakes too. For like these uh these angel fish, because I know that's really what they love. So
And these fish haven't eaten in a few days, so I know uh, you're looking and it's, it's like a lot of food getting put in this tank, but these fish probably haven't eaten in about two or three days, so. So there's gonna be some good eating for them. Oh yeah, we got that green phantom placo. Came out, see it's a bunch of food out here. He's ready to grub. colors in these guys is just amazing. Uh, that's a redhead uh, geophagus. Beautiful fish. There's another red hair right there. Love those albino heclii. On to the next tank. All right, so now we've got this planet tank, uh, this 10 gallon uh, tank. No, I believe this is the 20 gallon. Uh, and basically what I've got in here are, we got some rummy nose tetras in there, uh, striped denio, serpe tetras, some uh, lampshade tetras back there. Uh, we also have a few guppies in here. And so this, is, this tank is basically an experiment. Um, trying out some things, really trying to, you know, like get these plants uh, flourishing in here. Um, oh yeah, and then we've got this uh, betta in here as well. Uh, it's called a, a twilight, <clears throat> a panda, I believe it's called a panda koi twilight betta, uh, something like that. I'll put the proper name in that description. You know I'll do it, you know I got you. But um, it's really cool. And then they're flourishing with everybody else, so. I'll give them, uh, so I like to feed them. I've got like these micro pellets. So I'll uh, feed them these and we can, see it's funny man, because like having big fish, when you look at these little fish, like it, it's funny watching them eat. Cause of course, you know, they're not as aggressive as the big fish, but they still, they still go in though. Now I noticed too that over here in the corner, they uh, been digging the rocks up. So interested to see like what's going on over here or if any of these fish are trying to mate or you know what they're trying to do. So we'll see. Down here we've got this frontosa. It was upstairs in the uh, frontosa tank and I noticed he was swimming upside down. Um, so I brought him down here, been giving him Epsom salt, doing regular water changes, and he seemed to be doing better, not swimming upside down. So I'll be putting him up in the, um, back in the frontosa tank upstairs. So he'll be going up there. So he's been eating and everything. So let's see if um, I can get him, see if I can get him to eat something right now. Yeah, I've been, I've been happy that he's been, you know, he's been eating. There we go, yeah. There you go, you almost ready to go home. Get you back home, buddy. All right, so now we over here at the African cichlid tank. There's one of my favorites right there. Exochromus anageus, love that fish. Love that fish, absolutely, right there. One of my favorites. When they get big, like they color up really nice and it's just like a really cool looking fish. So uh, let's see here, what else we got in here? We got a bunch of OBs, OB Borley eyes in here. Had these since juveniles. Um, all of these Borley eyes, we got some clown loaches in here. 
This is a really cool fish right here. Uh, it's a mix of like two of my favorite African cichlids. Uh, it's called a Venusticeps, and so it's a mixture between the Venustus and a Compressiceps. So, uh, really cool fish. Colors up, like really nice. Uh, predator fish, I mean, just goes crazy. Got the Malawi gar in there, beautiful fish. Just looking great, and they, they hungry, y'all. They, they trying to eat, they haven't eaten in a couple of days. They trying to eat. Get them a little more. Clown loach is gonna be eating good. Yeah, we got the red tail botillas in there getting chased around. Oh, there, one of them got uh, got some tilapia. <laughs> Ob Red Empress. We got that albino sunshine peacock back there. Showing out. OB Azuris. I've got to get my numbers up in this tank because with the African cichlids, you got to get your numbers up. Otherwise, they really start attacking each other. And, you know, you don't, you don't want too much aggression in the tank, so. Gotta get that up. Beautiful fish. Albino OB Dragon Blood. Now we come over to the turtle tank where we've got our red air slider, we've got our African painted turtle. And we've got, got the King Kong parrot. We've got a uh, Ignat, this red and black Ignat. And we've got this jewel cichlid in here too. Let me not forget him. built the platform on top so they can come up there and bask and they always hungry so we're gonna do less talking a little more feeding there I go get y'all some food I know the pear is gonna go crazy over that the turtles are always hungry one day, I, I'm gonna do a video just focusing on the turtle tank. I'm gonna hand feed them. I'm gonna show you guys their platform on the top, um, how I built it, you know, all of that. So, I'm gonna give you guys a true step-by-step, -step, you know, video um, with the turtles and everything I've, you know, done with them, so. Yeah, the turtles are some of my favorite in the fish room. So much personality. Every time I come in here, they running up. <laughs> they, they, they'll be up here in the platform and then they jump in the water as soon as I come. All right. Now, we over here at Super Mario. Super Mario's a flower horn. 
Uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind of flower horn, but the most interesting thing with him is that when I first got Super Mario, he was uh, all black. And so I got him and started feeding him krill and the blood pair red and man, his colors just started coming in and he turned into this magnificent specimen that you see right before you. He's got a huge nuchal hump on his head. And I mean, it's soft. I've touched it before. I've seen it like touch the glass. It's, it's like really soft. It's, 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 it's interesting. It's a crazy texture. Um, but uh, I noticed that when I put crushed coral um, in his filter when he was in another tank, and then in, in this tank, I've actually got a little bit of crushed coral um here's the substrate and i noticed that man i put that in there and i mean his color started popping and that nuchal hump just just grew a lot more and got really prominent so and i love like the the colors like you know within his uh fins uh he's got like really nice trailers that's what they call the you know the fins like when they wave like that like the really long fans like that they call them trailers this is beautiful just can't put him in with anybody else because he will kick some butt. Oh, uh, he said I put enough in there for him. All right, he come back and eat. Okay. And then we got 500 gallons of glory right here. So I love this tank right here. Mainly VA high in here. Just super exclusive, exotic. Love these fish. Simspellum hybrids, love those. That's a true Simspellum right there. One of my favorite fish, the Argentia. Really cool fish. Got the red Moda, the gangster right there. That red pike. Got the black belt cichlid. Really cool fish in here. Got that marble fin finistratus. Got those green snooks in there. Some of my favorite guys. They some monsters. And these guys can eat. This feather fan Cynodonis down here. Oh, he's gonna run away. He's always swimming upside down. And he's like the vacuum cleaner. So he comes in here, he gets in here, and he just cleans everything off the bottom. Like if there's food left on the bottom, he's getting it. That's the vacuum cleaner right there. Now let me show you guys this view of the tank. So I love sitting right here and looking at this tank from this angle because the tank is so deep. It's like a whole different world when you look at it from the side. And they say that you know if, uh, you know, what somebody's doing with their tanks when you look at them from the side. So if it's clear, looking at it from the side view, then you know, you know you're in the game, see? Like you wanna have those types of side views. You know, you can almost see through like three different tanks, man. Looking through the flower horn tank over to the turtle tank, through the turtle tank over to the geophagus tank. Like, man, come on. What are we doing? Gotta keep these tanks clean, man. Gotta have these environments clean for these fish. Uh, regular water changes. We do our water changes once a week over here. Not letting the ammonia build up, not letting the nitrates build up in here, you know, just you know, doing these regular water changes, gravel vacuum. 
you know, doing what we need to do. The fish aren't eating, you know, taking uneaten food out of the tank so it doesn't, you know, build with ammonia. You know, just doing what you need to do to, you know, keep your fish and your, and your tanks pristine and your fish happy. Okay, let's feed them some more. Yo, these green snooks are so spoiled. So for the most part, they only eat freeze-dried krill. <laughs> it's so crazy. And that one has stuffed his mouth so much back there, he can barely close it. So I'm gonna move this frontosa uh, from this tank uh, back into the home with the other colony um, of Frontosa. So let's uh, see how difficult he makes that for me. Or, uh, got him. We in the guy. Got him. All right. We're going to the uh, Frontosa tank, my friend. Seems to be back to normal. Right back in there with his colony. Now let's feed these guys. They seem to be good. These frontosas, they eating good, and my guy's not swimming upside down no more, so that means we in the game. Then we got this uh, bow front tank, the 72 uh, gallon bow front, tropical fish. Another stab at some live plants, but not really all that successful. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video where I actually um, put some new plants in here, use some root tabs, and like really, you know, watch the tank. Um, I've never injected with CO2 or done anything like that, which I know, you know, helps these planted tanks to be more successful. But. So in here, we've got some rose line sharks. Um, we've got this flag tail crochet lotus, some skirt tet, some white skirt tetras, uh, Buenos Aires tetras, which is one of my favorites. Black skirt tetras, we got some yo-yo loaches, a few zebra loaches in here, albino red tail shark. Um, got some pretty cool fish in here, but this is like a really calm, tame, you know, community tank. Uh, got some cardinal tetras in here, got a few uh, black neon tetras in here, so. I know these guys are hungry too.
These yellow and orange ones, they're called like Rio Vaughn Tetras. I just got those recently. So this is another flower horn, and uh, her name is Biggie, and so uh, rightfully so, uh, she's huge. I've had Biggie for about three years now. Uh, Biggie's been nursed back to health, has been in several hospital tanks off and on, and has just been so resilient and just keeps on kicking. So uh, this is a flower horn, super red dragon. Really cool fish, a lot of personality. She kind of got an attitude problem. And man, she just will murk anything I put in the tank with her. So, gotta be dolo, gotta be alone. Yeah, see if she hungry. Okay. And she don't eat. Biggie right there. Biggie was in a community tank with other Oscars and other monster fish, but after a while, she just started kicking butt in that tank. I had to take her out and just have never been able to keep another fish in the tank with her, so. She a solo rider. Got her in a 40 breeder. Eventually, I'm gonna put her in like a 90 gallon tank, similar to how I got uh, Super Mario. So, I wish I could put them together because they both uh, really good looking fish, but can't do it. All right, so now we're back at the 500. Fed all the other tanks, still got some more of this uh, tilapia left, so just want to hook them up with a little more, and I see they still hungry, they still grubbing, so that was the right thing to do. So you watch me feed all the tanks here in the fish room, talk about all the fish. Um, it's a bunch of cool fish that I, you know, want to get. I think that's always the problem uh, with us fish keepers is, you know, we always seeing like new stuff that we want to get. Um, I want to put a fire eel in this tank. Um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, getting a fire eel. I really want a Vieja Bacorti, uh, which is one of my favorite Viejas. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it, I could name fish that I want in like every tank that I've got, you know. Um, you know, from, I want some star sapphires in my African cichlid tank. Um, I mean, I, I want some more albino heckleyi, so, so yeah, um, you know, just, just continue to watch the channel. I'll be continuing to switch up aquascapes and show you new fish, uh, show you how I do water changes, how I clean out the filters. Uh, one of my next videos that I want to do is I really want to highlight um, the sump filter. Uh, on this 500 gallon tank and I want to talk to you guys about um, how that's all set up and so That'll be another video uh, coming soon and I you know I can show you guys like how I'm able to keep my water uh, pristine uh, and crystal clear so uh, Guys, I really like I said, I appreciate you guys being here Smash the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming Leave a comment, anything you've seen in the video, any ideas, any feedback, anything you've got is well welcome. And make sure you come back to Speedy's Fish Room. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.